Howdy, howdy, my name is Good Guy Mike. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to another Worm Unlimited Quick and Dirty Tutorial. So, today, we're going to be covering con uh, combat, not contact, combat system in Worm Unlimited because it's a little bit interesting. Now, before we start, I should mention combat is more of an automatic thing versus an engaged uh, interaction, which is interesting because most games that have such an in-depth crafting system tend to have a more open range and engaged combat system, but this one is an exception to that. Now, when you first start the game, you're going to have in your inventory a short sword, just a metal short sword, which uh, is going to be what you automatically use for combat. Now, that is a terrible weapon. It is very ineffective. It doesn't work all that well. It doesn't do all that much damage. So you're going to want to upgrade past that as quick as possible. You're also not going to want to pick a fight with anything too large before you are high enough level. And that is a very important statement because a lot of things can kick your butt when you're first starting, such as cows. Cows can kick your butts. Boars can kick your butts. Rats can kick your butts. You're going to want to practice on things like this chicken here. See this aged rooster? All right. Now, once you get past a certain level, or once you get a uh, certain quality of sword, like this, I have this, um, this iron sword. Your weapons are going to take damage as you're fighting. So this one is a little bit damaged, so I'm just going to go ahead, right-click on it, and repair. It's going to go through that, and that's going to repair it. Now, you can improve these weapons so that they, uh, they do more damage. So this is a quality of 6.4, which means it does more damage. They don't have an exactly a direct uh, correlation. I'm sure there's a mathematical formula that you can find out there. But basically, the higher the level with the weapon, so the higher your skill level with that certain weapon and the higher the quality, the more damage you will do. All right. Um, the higher the the weapon um, material, the higher more damage you will do as well. So glimmer steel does more damage than iron. Steel does more damage than iron. Um, okay. And you can check your skills in here. If you go character... Uh, or you go skills, pardon me, and then you have your swords, axes, stuff like that. So I go swords. I'm currently using a long sword. My long sword skill is 13.16. All right, now that we got all that out of the way, we're going to go ahead, right click, and you're going to have attack. Now you're going to want to make sure that before you attack, you have your sword equipped to your person. Make sure that it's, if it's in your inventory still, you're just going to right, you're going to right click on it and equip. So if I wanted to attack somebody with the carving knife, I go to equip and click that. However, I already have my shorts or my long sword equipped, so I'm going to go to it. Now, click attack. All right, so there are a handful of things that factor into combat. So, this spot, this section right here, this one in the middle on the, the middle left, shows where you're going to be aiming on the body of the character. So, currently, I'm aiming for the center of the creature. If I want to aim low, I can aim low by clicking on that. See, so this is basically, it lets you choose your direction. If you want to hit somebody, if you want to avoid somebody's shield, because they have a shield on their right arm, you can attack left, different things like that. Now, the second part is footing. It says your footing is normal at the moment. That means that I am gaining no advantage from where I am standing. If you are standing above a person, so up on a hill, so you have the higher ground, it will give you an advantage. Let's see if I can draw the chicken over a little bit to a hill. Hmm, he's not going to follow me over to a hill. Um, but if I, so say I stand downhill from him, it'll turn, if it's a, enough of a thing, it'll turn and say that you have a disadvantage because of your footing. See? Your footing is unbalanced because I am on the slope of a hill. If we stand above him, we're going to get the best advantage. Now, second is this little range down here. This is going to tell you if your, if your distance is correct. Okay, because certain weapons have different distances. For instance, a spear, you're going to want to stand a little bit further back from your opponent, while a, uh, a sword, you're going to want to stand medium, and certain things you're going to want to stand extra close. If I get too close to them, I'm not going to be doing efficient damage. See, your target is too close, um, so uh, it's going to be harder for me to damage him. If I stand too far back, it'll go to the too far back. Pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Basically, you just move back and forth until this dial gets in the distance is good. Now, Shield bash. Shield bashing is used when you have a shield equipped and it will knock your target off balance allowing you to do more damage and taking the uh, character a second before it can attack you again. It will use up more stamina than your uh, your average attack but of course it defends you a little bit. The, uh, the final one is focus and focus is arguably one of the most important. As you can see I'm currently not focused on combat. You want to click this a handful of times in combat because the higher your focus See, it says now it's traded over your balance, your feet, and your soul. The higher your focus, 
the more damage you will do and the more likely to hit you are okay so i'm gonna keep clicking this and sometimes you'll miss i'm currently unsure of the highest uh level of focus i think there's three of them i think there's one above this focus is one of those things that just um levels up over time so yeah see you feel lightning inside quickening your reflexes and i think there's one more after this I'm unsure, but this is going to make it so that I do lots and lots of damage to this rooster, and I'm going to kill it fairly quickly. As you can see here in this little um, combat chat, I'm actually doing lots of damage to it. And as you can see here, it's also increasing my uh, my skills better. So focus is one of the most important things, because it's going to keep you alive, it's going to keep you leveled up, and it's going to help you with killing the enemy. Alright, so that is a basic breakdown of combat. Remember, th a lot of things... Oh wait, there's one more, se one more section, okay? Here are your three different fighting options. You can fight aggressive, defensively, and normal. Alright, normal is more of a balanced. Uh, defensive, you're going to take less damage you're less likely to take damage, and uh, aggressive, you're l more likely to do higher damage, but um, take higher damage as well. So it's all a balance. Um, range, of course, is so that if you're using a bow or anything like that, you can use long distance. Uh, most, most ranged weapons automatically default to that, so you shouldn't have to worry about that. Anyways, we have slain ourselves to the rooster. And it is time for us to put an end to this lovely episode. So, thank you for watching, guys. I hope this was enlightening. I tried to cover everything in it. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave it in the comments. If you enjoyed this tutorial, share it with your friends. Uh, the, only, the channel only grows if you guys support it. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. You guys, keeping you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy. Bye! -bye.